What's going on my fried shrimp? It's your boy Austin here at Better Known as Global on the World Wide Web. I know this video is going to be late. Uh, it's hella late by the time we watch this. It's This video was uploaded January 9th and I'm talking about it February. I'm late to the party. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, but at least I'm here. At least I did it. <laughs> uh, but no, this is going to be my video talking about and discussing the... The expansion pack for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I never did a reaction to the trailer because I was sick and I uh, just never got to it. And then I was like, eh, do I even do it? Do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? Just kind of all over the place. And then I just decided to finally do it because I'd rather do it than not do it. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and start this video over and then, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So we are here. Pokemon Sword and Shield Expansion Pass, the announcement trailer. We're just going to chill. We're going to relax and talk about it. And yeah, have a good old time. Have a good time. So it's going to be a quick, quick little video here. But here we got Hop and our trainer. We'll, we'll like pause it and talk about it and discuss it like we normally would. Um, but yeah, here we are. So we got all this stuff that we've seen before. None of this is really new. Kind of just recapping what we did in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And now here we go. Our adventure continues. And as you can see, they're showing a bunch of cool stuff. Like right here, we got a new bike. We got Talonflame going to be in the game. We got the Galar region map. Everything right here. Expansion pass. I will say, though, that I really do like the fact that they're not doing a third game. And now I know it's got a lot of hate on Twitter for them saying that, oh, they released a, they released a not full game. And now they're selling the expansion pass, which should have been included. They were they, they do this all the time like this isn't new Except they they just instead of an expansion pass. They just call it a third game and Like the I'm not trying to I don't want to get too too into it right now because I, I just don't care too much, but Everyone was saying that these games aren't completed Which is why that they're releasing an expansion pack which the first of all that's not true at all but second of all you're trying to tell me that these games Pokemon Sword and Shield were less complete than X and Y. You're trying to tell me that? If you guys thought X and Y was a complete game, how is Sword and Shield not? That's all I'm saying. That's like that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And uh, also, yeah, they would just call it platinum or emerald. Or black two, white two. This isn't this is okay, this isn't new. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> back to back get rid of all that negativity. Here we are. Um but yeah, so they're sold separately. Thirty dollars for both of them, which is pretty solid. This place looks so beautiful. I am in love with this place. It's so pretty. And we got some cool characters. Bro, Glorian Slowpoke, which uh, I'll we'll, we'll get there to Glorian Slowpoke on my channel. We'll get him. And he evolves into a Glorian Slowbro. And Slowbro, we can't even see it. We actually didn't even see that. But Slowbro does evolve into Slowking, but we don't know what they look like because we don't know the evolutions yet. But here we got this crazy looking dude. We got this crazy dude. His name is Mustard, by the way. What a freaking name, Mustard. And these outfits for our trainers, dude, they, they look so good. I'm not even going to lie. When I first saw these, hold on, I went way too far. I went way too far. These look like some serious, like this dude. This dude looks sick. He's balling. He's balling. He should have got this dojo outfit on. He's looking cool. She looking cool. And we got hella new customization options. We got new hairstyles. You want to be Marnie, you can be Marnie. Boy, this goes back real far. You want to be, yeah, but you can be Marnie's hairstyle, right? Where is it at? Right here, you got Marnie. You got the punk, uh, the Team Yelgrunt style right here. I don't believe that's Chairman Rose, too. Some new shoes, new bags. All this cool new stuff, which we kind of thought uh, we can get Leon's hat. And first of all, I know I'm pausing this a lot, but I want to talk about it because I don't want this video to just be me, like, watching this three-minute trailer and that's it. I want to talk about it. These new bikes, insane. These new bikes look really good. I really like them because... The old bikes in Pokemon and Sword and Shield, like the original bikes, didn't look too great. I wasn't a huge fan of them, but these new bikes look pretty sick. Um, but yeah, we got some new bags. Got Leon's hat. This hat looks sick. The berry. Oh, ah, oh, full screen it back up. There we go. Hella new stuff. Got some new characters. I believe her name is Clara. I think her name's Clara. And then we have Avery right here. My boy. My boy Avery, psychic bro. Uh, also, I don't think this was confirmed anywhere. I don't think it was confirmed anywhere. Uh, but, so, Sklarian Slowpoke is a poison type. Which we we know, because we can access and get him. 
Um, but I believe Galarian Slow Bro is going to be Poison type, and then Galarian Slow King will be Psychic type to kind of correlate with Avery and, uh, like I said, I think her name's Clara. But yeah. So then I saw these, and I was like, oh, cool, they're adding Blastoise and Venusaur into the game. Makes sense, because Charizard's been in the game the whole time. But not only that, they get Megas. Okay, okay. Not Megas. They get uh, Gigantamax forms. Gigantamax freaking Venusaur right here, dude. I love this dude. Venusaur looks cool as shit. I don't care who you are. Venusaur is definitely the best of the three starters in like the Gen 1. Easily best of the three. And then Blastoise. Blastoise kind of just got hella cannons. And you see Blastoise, he got hella cannons. And then these like triangles on his feet. I don't know what they're all about, but I'm down for the hella cannons. And then when it saw this, and it kind of went to like the these right here, I was like, no way. Because it was weird that the, the starters never got Galarian, um, like, Gigantamax forms. It was weird that they never did, because the whole game is about Gigantamaxing your Pokemon and, like, Dynamaxing and stuff. And for these starters to not have one, I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But then I was like, oh, it's similar to, like, how Greninja and the other two, Delphox and Chestnut, they didn't have Megas when Megas were introduced in that game. So I was like, oh, maybe they're just excluding them. And yeah, also, can we talk about how happy Sobble is? Look at how happy Sobble is. I freaking... Bro. But yeah, they get G-Max forms, and I, I'm not a huge fan of this one at all. I don't like his drums. They're just... It's just... He still looks kind of goofy. I think Rillaboom is my least favorite of the starters. They're cool, though. I guess the drums are cool, but like... I don't know. Not a huge fan. And then Cinderace, I don't even know what the hell Cinderace is on. Because Cinderace is on some fucking Dragon Ball Z stuff right here. That's what that's like. And then Inteleon, it's a whole ass sniper rifle. This dude just gets a sniper. Imagine walking out your front door and seeing that. Seeing this dude sniping at you. You can't escape. You ain't getting away from that. He will shoot you. He will get you good. That's all I gotta say. Some more screenshots from the Isle of Armor is what this one is called. Yeah, we got a bunch of cool stuff here we can see. We got these two characters. We got some G-Max forms. This dude down here named Mustard. You can't even see my cursor. That's cool. Um, but yeah, we got uh, G-Max Venusaur here. I don't know why I can't remember what that's called. Uh, and yeah, these new these new dojo outfits are really cool. My cat's uh, clawing out my chair again. What a surprise. She always does that. But <laughs> and, then, and then, not only that, they didn't they could have stopped there honestly they could have just stopped there but they said no they said no let let us treat you allow us to treat you and they drop a second trailer right away after this first one hello game freak you're too kind you're too kind now we stop at this image right here exploration outfits looking cool articuno I'm curious about Articuno. I really am curious about these Galarian birds. I don't know how they're going to go about doing that. I'd like to know how they're going to do it, but I don't know. Uh, we see some more. We got the Reggie over here, which we'll talk about when they pop up on the screen. But yeah, we got some cool stuff over here. We got some cool stuff. This building looks really cool. Oh, yeah, I was wondering what they're circling here. Uh, I can't really tell. what the, Is that supposed to be a crown, maybe? Um, and like the entrance to something. I can't really tell what those are. This dude, I don't know who he is. He looks badass though. He's got a mustache and he's got some cool exploration outfit going on. He's jolly. And then our characters, they look they look determined. They look they look good. They look good. And then this part, I was like, oh, okay, cool. They're bringing the Reggies back. And I was like, oh, maybe G-Max Reggies. <laughs> they just give us two new Reggies. So this is a Reggie Electric. I, we can safely assume it's Reggie Electric. I don't think there's another type it could be. Um, and then this one, Reggie. A lot of people were saying Dragon. However, Dark would also work. Reggie Light and Reggie Dark. I, I was watching Loxton's video on it a while ago. Whenever he dropped it. Yeah, those are new Reggies. They look cool. Oh, yeah. Here's the here's the evolutions here. So, Glorian Slow, Slow King. I think this is Slow King, right? It's kind of crazy because you can't really see Galarian Slow King's face. Let me try and go back. You can't really see his face, but it looks like he's like he he clearly looks like a magician. Like you see this, and I to me I think magician. I don't quite know what's going on with his head though, because why would his eyeball be right there? 
Why is that a place for his eyeball? You know what I mean? I just don't really get it, but whatever. And we got our outfits here. Again, some more customization options here. If you want to look like Team Flair, you can look like Team Flair. Want to look like Team... Is that Getz's? You want to just straight up look like Getz's? Go for it. They're adding some more Mons, Amora, uh, Celio, Gar Garchomp. I know a lot of people are happy about Garchomp. What is, what is one Pokemon you guys want in this game? That like hasn't been added before. Mine's obviously Ampharos. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Ampharos. For those of you that don't know, I would really like to see a Galarian Ampharos. I don't know what type they'd make it. Maybe Dragon? Dragon would be cool. However, I could also see Water, Steel. Those two are types that I would be really cool with. But if they would add a Galarian... Oh, what? A Galarian Ampharos? That'd be sick. But yeah, sorry. I just paused it and skipped it in front of like some real big details about this trailer. I just dropped it right there. But... Yeah, these freaking birds. Can we talk? Uh, can we? Okay. Moltres. I don't know what the hell Moltres is on. But Moltres looks like a beast. Like these birds. I don't know what happened to them. They are on some kind of drug. I don't know what kind. But they are on some kind of drug here. They look sick as shit. Moltres looks cool. Uh, Articuno is my least favorite. He does look like a villain though. Like he do really be looking like a villain. So... And then my favorite of the three, Zapdos with the legs. Zapdos got some cakes. Zapdos got those hams, dude. I And low-key, though, Zapdos, you trying to step on me? Because I'm not saying I'd be down, but, like, I probably couldn't be get back up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Zapdos, you're trying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but, but his fucking legs, dude. I like him. He's cool. And obviously they're gonna have to do something with this tree. I don't know about no tree, but now watch. I hope that tree has the worst graphics in the game. Just to just to be like fuck you guys. That'd be cool. Actually, hold on. They did just show trees right there. Do they look good? Excuse me. Do they look good? Oh, what is that? Game freak. What is those little dots? No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. And the Crown Tundra. I'm excited. I am excited. So we got part one, the Isle of Armor, and part two, the Crown Tundra. They said, nah, fuck it. We ain't giving you just one. We're giving you two. And then they had to go and show us more? They really did not have to. This trailer still got, like, almost a minute left in it. You ready for this? Because this stuff got me hyped. This stuff got me real hyped right here. Bro. Urshifu, kind of cool. He's kind of sick. I get what they're going for here. With like some mystical. He looks like, what's that one? Panda? The Kung Fu Panda? That's, yeah, pretty much Urshifu's Kung Fu Panda. And I made a video about it before. Which, shameless plug, I made a video of characters that I would like to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the Fighters Pass Pack 2. And Urshifu was one of my picks. I really think Urshifu would make a good addition to the Smash game. I don't know exactly how it's going to work. But I think it'd be sick. I just got to look at that. Um, So it is confirmed that actually there will be... This is just one Pokemon. But there's two different forms depending on choices you make in your game. So it actually it's like a Telltale game. Where you can like choose different settings or something. And you'll get I think Water or Dark. I think this is what they are. Could be wrong here. But... And then this guy, this freaking dude right here, I don't, I don't know what, like, I don't know who this dude thinks he is. I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's not, he just ain't cool. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Um, but, however, I'm excited for this. I'm hella excited. Definitely, I mean, obviously there's going to be a Let's Play of it on my channel. I will be considering my Sword Let's Play in the near future. Uh, we just got the post game left, about two hours of content left. So I might just stream it or I could do two videos that are like an hour long each. I don't quite know how I want to go about it yet, but just, just this is my announcement saying it will happen. Um, probably within the next week or two. Probably, I would say might record it Wednesday. So, or maybe I'll stream it Wednesday. I don't know. We'll see though. Um, but yeah, also I've been streaming every day, or not every day, sorry, I've been streaming every week, three times a week, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday are at 11.30 p.m. EST until 1.30ish. And then on Wednesday, it is 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And longer if it goes well. But, but yeah, there's that uh, for right now. That's my schedule. Um, if you guys are hyped for this, let me know down below. What is a Pokemon that you would love to see get a Gigantamax form or even a Galarian form in this game? Like I said, mine would be Ampharos. What do you guys think about the birds? What do you guys think about the new Regis, the new legendaries, Urshifu and Calyrex? What do you guys think about them? Are you guys like hyped for this expansion pack? Do you wish they would have made a third game? Let me know down below, please. Uh, engagement, you know what I mean? Uh, but with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you hide your pump the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Thank you for coming by. Today was a really good day.